matchup. We'll send Dan Muller to the line for two. So Ty Rhodes, who started the basketball game for the Shockers, goes all game without scoring, and now he's gone, disqualified after his fifth foul. And he was a big factor in the game at Wichita. Came off the bench in that ball game to really lift the Shockers, scoring seven points, getting four rebounds, doing a great job defensively, and really getting his hands on a lot of plays. You know, he does a good job out there. He's just a little outmatched against the likes of Rico Hill, Dan Muller, and Leroy Watkins, and even Rob Gibbons in this ball game. Dan Muller has started every one of the 113 games that he's played in at Illinois State. And he starts the game just 207 minutes shy of the school record for minutes played. One of your former teammates, Michael McKinney, holds that mark, but Dan Muller's going to break it in about uh, seven games, I think. Yeah, they refer to Dan Muller as the Energizer Bunny as he just continues to go and go and go. I tell you, Michael McKinney, when I played with him, he was the same way. Yeah. He was a terrific player, and one of those guys like Muller who started every game as a freshman, and that, that's how you start piling up those minutes played numbers. Here's Williams now, draws the triple team. Evans had the ball stripped from Smiley, but he couldn't control it, and Hankton has it. We're under three and a half to play in the ball game. Evans now, over Gibbons. Missed the shot, Gibbons high for the rebound. He's in double digits now with 10 boards. Rob kept an eye on his elbows that time, was looking for a place to deposit them on his way down. And Skip Schaefer just deposits a three-point shot from right in front of the Redbird bench. That brings a smile to a lot of the Redbird players who know that he's been in a shooting slump. He's in double digits now. For the first time in seven games, he had six straight games where he failed to score 10 points or more. He's at 11 now. I tell you, Skip's three out of six from three-point range in this ball game. You see Evans going up strong at the other end with the put back but he's looked very good at his form and it just getting set with his feet below him and his shoulder square much better than he's been in recent games Jamar Smiley it's gonna be a blocking foul as he just rammed into Darren Williams and Williams didn't have his feet set we're under three minutes to play at the 240 mark Smiley really forcing the action that time drawing the foul off of Williams his fifth foul would be the second shocker to go to the bench as you see him getting over late against Jamar Smiley. Smiley had Gibbons open underneath as he was driving to the basket, but instead he'll go to the line for two. And Darren Williams has become the second Shocker player to foul out. As he goes now to the Shocker bench, we're gonna see Kevin Gwaltney come in his stead. And Williams did play relatively well, eight points and seven rebounds, much more active in this game than in the first game between these two teams in Wichita. Well, he's coming off a good performance at Northern Iowa as well on Thursday night where he had nine points as well and the, and the effort with Maurice Evans out of the ballgame and beating Northern Iowa at the Uni Dome by 10. In games earlier this year, he's been almost non-existent sometimes, getting no points in, in 10 minutes of play at times. So a good effort by Darren Williams, the sophomore product out of Wichita for the Shockers this evening. Shafe Bauer leaves the game. Steve Hansel comes in. Kyle Cartmill goes to the bench. Dan Muller goes to the bench. Kenny Pearson comes in, Ronald Van Belzen comes in. So Kevin Stallings is going to get a chance to play some of his reserve players here. Joe Hines at the scorer's table, so he'll check in. It's similar to the South, uh, Southern Illinois game, Matt, when the last few minutes Kevin Stallings got a chance to play some of the guys that really only get minutes during practice. And I tell you, it doesn't matter if these guys get in there with two minutes left in the game or if there's ten minutes left in the game. He wants them all performing out there. Smiley's free throw gives the Redbirds a 77-53 lead with 2.40 to play. When we built our house, we found a lot that was just perfect. Yeah, well, it was the worst sight I'd ever seen. It had everything. Earthquake, tidal wave, horizontal rain. We wanted lots of windows. I insisted on Anderson windows. At Anderson, we appreciate the builders who time after time make it look easy. We're still in love with this house. And I'm still recovering. Let window expert Dave Fuss show you how affordable new Anderson windows can be at Huntman Lumber do -It Center. Since my injury, I haven't been able to work. What am I going to do about my job and all these bills? Dealing with a personal injury can be an uncertain time. What are my rights? Who can I call? Who will look out for me? Cove and Cannell is a firm with a history of fighting for the rights of injured people. A firm with experience dealing with insurance companies. A firm that is on your side and will never charge you to discuss your case. When you're faced with the question surrounding personal injury, the answer is Cove and Cannell. 
What began as a mystery is today a proven method of increasing agricultural production and profit. It's called precision farming, and no one puts the pieces together like your FS crop specialist with the FS Bean Plan GIS. By layering data from multiple GPS GIS sources, the FS Green Plan is able to make complete comprehensive evaluations. The FS Green Plan, measurably better field by field. here at Redbird Arena. Now it's just a matter of what the final score is going to be because with 2.40 to play, the Redbirds on a 77-53 lead. And what a game tonight for Rob Gibbons, who is playing in place of Leroy Watkins, who's been in foul trouble all night and then eventually fouled out. This is Rob Gibbons' first career double-double. He's got 14 points and 10 rebounds. The 10 rebounds constitute a new career high. And that only puts him 49 off the all-time Illinois State record held by Ron DeVries. <laughs> <laughs> who, who accomplished 50 double doubles in only 77 ball games? So, you know, a great effort by DeVries, but again, a great effort by Rob Gibbons off the bench tonight in place of Leroy Watkins, who was hampered with fouls. We'll make sure that we uh, remind Mr. Rob Gibbons now that he's 49 double doubles away from the school record. Let's set the table with who's in the ball game now, folks, because we've got a lot of player substitutions. Rob Gibbons, Steve Hansel, Kenny Pearson, Joe Hine in the game for the first time for the Redbirds, and Ronald Van Belzen. Meanwhile, it's Kevin Gwaltney, Carl Lemons, Maurice Evans, Jason Perez, and Terry Hankton, the five on the floor for the Shockers. Perez almost comes up with a steal there. He's really hampering Kenny Pearson. That time he did steal it, but uh, Kevin Gwaltney couldn't control it, and Joe Hine comes up with it. Might get a little sloppy here in the final two minutes and ten seconds. Randy Smithson just has a big smile on his face because he, he knows this one is over, and now he's just ready to warm the bus up and get out of here. Redbirds look a little scattered offensively out there right now as they're trying to get in position to score. Kenny Pearson missed the shot off the glass, tried to bank it in, and Maurice Evans gets a hold of the rebound. Evans has been quiet tonight. He did get into double digits. He's got 11, make it 14 as he knocks down the three. So now he has become the Shockers' leading scorer with 14 points and three rebounds on the night. Three players of the Shockers in double figures. Evans with 14, Hankton and Lemons each with 12. Evans was in pretty much a no-win situation that time trying to guard Evans out on the floor. Evans very talented going to the basket. That time he just pulled up from three-point range and dropped it in. Another missed Redbird shot. Here comes Terry Hank or uh, Carl Lemons back as we approach the one-minute mark left in this one. The Redbirds' mastery over the Wichita State Shockers continues as Illinois State will win its ninth consecutive game over WSU. Here's Jason Perez now. He's hammered that time. Ronald Van Belzen got him. And Perez is going to go to the free throw line. Redbirds have done a nice job of keeping Jason Perez under wraps. He has but four points on one of eight shooting today. Yeah, Perez looks a little frustrated out there. He'll go to the free throw line again where he's had five attempts on the night. He spent quite a bit of his time there but just hasn't had a good look at the basket. Again, that's attributed to the good defensive effort by Dan Muller and Skip Schaefauer guarding Perez. Perez has been the team's leading scorer. Averaging 13.8 points against so almost 14. He had 22 against the ISU in the game in Wichita. He had back-to-back 20-point -back efforts. And he's been in double figures in scoring all but four times this year. So the fact that he's been held to four points is really, really the exception. Nice hand for Rob Gibbons as he leads the Redbirds contingent to the bench along with Steve Hansel and Kenny Pearson. The biggest thank you he's getting over there on the bench is from Leroy Watkins right. to... Uh, didn't contribute a whole lot tonight for the Redbirds, but in his absence, Rob Gibbons really stepped it up. Nick Stotler and Ryan Crowley in the ballgame with Ben Holmstrom, the three new Redbirds. I see having a difficult time trying to get this ball across half court. Barely got it or no? Ten second violation. Yeah, the shot clock was down to 24 by the time he had gotten it over half court. Good effort that time by Hankton to get his hand in on the ball to create a loose ball situation and backcourt violation for the Redbirds. That's the 18th Redbird turnover. They're right at their limit, or their average. And by the way, we talked about the shooting percentage being the key number, 40% being for the Shockers. There's Terry Hankton's miss, and Ronald Van Bell's in the rebound. In the six games where the Shockers have shot 40% or better, they've won. They're 6-0. and and at halftime, they were shooting 48%. But now the Shockers are way down to 37%. And that's the reason why they're trailing by 20 points. Another turnover for the Redbirds. And we're down to the final 
15 seconds. Here's Evans. He missed the shot and then got back up and tipped it back in. Very quick off his feet the second time to tip that one back in. His shockers will go down to defeat here tonight. Evans has 16 points. His average is 10 and a half. The fans want Joe Hines to shoot it to get in the scores book. Nick Stotler is going to put up a shot, but it's too late. And the ball game is over. And the Redbirds have improved now to 13-4 overall after a 77-59 win over the visiting Shockers. 10. CBS 31 News is live. At. We've been following this story. 10. In the first 10 minutes, CBS 31 News 10 at 10 has all your day's news. All your weather. All your sports. All in the first 10 minutes. All before the first commercial. CBS 31 News 10 at 10 is no nonsense and straight to the point. So in 10 minutes, you are up to date. Then stay tuned as we continue with more news, plus your full sports and weather reports. CBS 31 News 10 at 10. It's about time. Thanks, you know what? I've been to conventions here. I've done banquets here. The food is terrific. In central Illinois, there's no better place to come than the Holiday Inn City Center. It's terrific. Is that right? This is big news. Your Ford dealers got low 2-9 financing for 48 months or great cash back on three popular Fords. Get 2-9 or 1,000 cash on every new Escort in stock, including the Escort SE Sport. Get 2-9 or 750 cash on every Taurus and Taurus SE Sport. Even the new ZX2 has 2-9 financing or 1,000 cash back. Or choose a longer term and get 5-9 financing for 60 months. 2-9 for 48 or great cash back. See your neighborhood Ford dealer today. You deserve your freedom. It's your time saving money, saving sanity, saving the store. Whether you're filling up your tank or picking up milk and bunchies, you deserve your freedom whenever and wherever you're on the go. Freedom with convenient locations throughout Illinois. From Bloomington to Toluca to Creve Coeur, remember your freedom, the place that keeps you on the go. You deserve your freedom. It's your time saving money, saving sanity, saving store. The Redbirds will at least still own a share of first place, improving to 8-1 in the conference with a 77-59 win over the Wichita State Shockers. Another impressive home win, uh, Matt, for the Redbirds, who are unbeaten at home this year. Yeah, now they got a tough road test coming up on Wednesday against Southern Illinois to keep pace with Evansville. They were up 23 against Bradley in the second half. Both teams 8-1. Rico Hill had 20, Rob Gibbons 14, Dan Muller 16. The Redbirds win at 77-59. For our producer, Steve Harris, and Matt Tampor, this is Kurt Pegler. Good night from Normal. Illinois State University Redbird Basketball on CBS 31 is sponsored by Paradise Hotel Casino. Make it paradise. Each winning 60 